Hey guys, today I will be showing you how I wrap resin projects. Okay, so this order is my mountain charcuterie board, uh, my small mountain charcuterie board, and this nice wave one. Alright, so starting with the big mountain one, I uh, flip it over, make sure that the front is flat, and I first wrap it in this glassine paper. You can also use parchment paper, but I tend to find that this glassine is a bit stronger and it just works better with my products to make sure that they are safe and secure. Alright, now that that layer's done, I'm just going to put a thin layer of this uh, clear paper on it. I usually don't do this layer, but um, since uh, there will be three trickery boards together and then two on top of this big one, I wanted this one to have some extra protection. Alright, now that that layer's done, I'm going to add some of this foam roll onto here just to give that extra protection again since it's at the bottom. And grab my scissors and just cut it off right here. There we go and lastly I am going to add this hard brown paper. I'm going to add some nice ribbon clip. And on to this beautiful wave board. So these are 100% sealed, um, they are very durable, and they will last for generations. And lastly, this mountain charcuterie board. So now with these care packages, um, I'm just going to stick them in each one. So uh, I'm just going to give a few free stickers. I'm just going to do that for every order. And then a thank you card. So all my packaging, I actually reuse a lot of it. So I had this in another package, so I'm just gonna kinda fill that in there. Just help the cracks and stuff get a little full here. Add some fragile stickers. You can just get these on Amazon and I like since this is such a big, heavy, fragile box, I'm going to put probably one on each side. 